Arcadian Vanguard presents the Wrestling News in your daily wrestling newscast for Saturday, September 28, 2024. Good morning, I'm Mike Sempervivi. We begin today with last night's WWE SmackDown broadcast live on USA Network from the Paycom Center in Oklahoma City. In the main event, Kevin Owens and Randy Orton were defeated by Solo Sokoa and Jacob Fatu. Prior to the finish, WWE champion Cody Rhodes had come out as an equalizer to Tonga Loa and Tama Tonga, but was attacked instead, causing a distraction that led to Owens getting pinned. After the match, there was friction between Owens and Rhodes, with Orton playing Peacemaker to end the show. But the W belongs to the bloodline. Uh, Kevin Owens visibly upset. He hit the stunner, was closing in on a win. Jacob threw Cody into the ring. He inadvertently took out the official. Kevin Owens had a one, two, three. The official didn't see it, and now Owens is upset. In the opening match of the show, Bailey pinned Naomi to become the number one contender to the WWE Women's Championship. Bailey catches her belly to belly. Just goes to show you the respect Bailey has for Naomi as a competitor, knowing she needs insurance, she needs something extra. Bailey from up top, flying elbow. Bailey is now scheduled to challenge Nia Jax at Bad Blood. In other results, Meechin pinned Piper Niven, and Carmelo Hayes pinned Andrade in the sixth match in their series. AEW presented Rampage last night, featuring matches taped last Saturday at the Mass Mutual Center in Springfield, Massachusetts. In the main event, Willow Nightingale defeated Taya Valkyrie. In other selected results, Konosuke Takeshita defeated Angelico, Anna Jay beat Robin Renegade, and the House of Black went over Action Andretti and Leo Rush. Turning to Mexico, CMLL ran the 5th Annual Night of Champions event on Friday night inside their home building of Arena Mexico. In the main event, Rayo Metallico knocked off Futuro to win the Mexican National Lightweight title. Two other championships also changed hands as Sainly defeated Reina Isis to win the Mexican National Women's title, and the Los Infernales team of Averno, Euphoria, and Mephisto down Mascara Dorada, Neon, and Star Jr. to win the CMLL Trios title. And finally, in news from outside the ring, Maxwell Jacob Friedman is set to appear with Adam Sandler in the recently announced sequel to Happy Gilmore, according to a report from Mike Johnson. Friedman's role in the Netflix original film is not yet known. Travis Kelsey and Bad Bunny are also part of the announced cast. And before we leave you today, we'd like to remind you that however you consume your content, you can find the wrestling news 24 hours a day and seven days a week across social media. On Twitter, follow us at Wrestling News AV. Our Facebook page is also Wrestling News AV. The Wrestling News can also be found on the Arcadian Vanguard YouTube page. And for those who utilize Amazon Echo devices, just tell Alexa to play the Wrestling News podcast. And remember to make sure you add podcast at the end. Once again, for daily updates, breaking news, and more, follow the Wrestling News across social media. And that's the news for today. If anything happens, we will be here to tell you about it. No clickbait, no paywall, just the wrestling news. The Wrestling News is a division of Arcadian Vanguard, and the Wrestling Newscast is a production of the Arcadian Vanguard Podcast Network.